story in the story we are going to have four friends and the name of those four friends is going to be alicia rohit neha and ajay this is how i imagined them and they are going to go somewhere look at this picture and you'll find it out let's start with our story it comes on page number 9 Let me start this story with a small summary or a brief summary of it for the starting few paragraphs. I would like to tell you that what happened one day was there were four children. They were coming back from school, and these four of the children were kind of best friends, and they were also neighbors to each other. What they did when they came back came back to school, they always used to. talk and walk uh with each other they were talking about the teachers lunch box treats and other thing this is what you do when you go back uh to school by bus i believe jo bhi bachche bus pe jaate hain they do the same thing school ke bare mein you keep on talking with your friends wonder what happened when they were returning back from school to home one of their friend ajay told the other friends that i have a shortcut today let's uh, you know try the shortcut uh, to our way back to home so this group was quite adventurous and ajay was a uh, one person who was always a uh, adventurous uh, of adventurous nature so adventurous you all understand doing something really exciting or maybe doing some some or the other things new so what happens next is when they were returning back through uh, through that shortcut they found a mansion violently purple colored mansion a big house mansion means a big house which you can see in this picture they stopped there and they wondered who lived in this house now the all four took the decision to explore the house but what happens next they were four and there were some kind of conversation which were there among them so let's see what happens they decided to explore the house and walk towards it you must be knowing that there are four friends we are having one is alisa so she said no the people in it would be probably sleeping she protested in a scared tone but against their judgment they were so attracted towards that building that they wanted to look what is there inside that particular house now ajay knocked with the help of big brass loin knocker whose tongue went in and out in a fascinating manner let me show you what is this big brass loin knocker here it is for your reference you understand they actually pulled the handle of it and who was the one he was ajay who pulled the handle of it and knocked the door what happened next was the door opened silently on its own they were admiring they were admiring for this particular knocker that how good it is but till the time they were admiring the door opened they were actually liking it the four friends looked at each other in disbelief and hesitated for a minute but walked in they were actually unable to believe that door opened on their own the interior of the house was actually scary it was lit up by a few candles and showed a dusty and large room what happened alija is the one who got very scared she says we should leave what if there are some ghost then alisha there are no ghost neha replied laughing a bit nervously don't worry if you are scared just hold my hand they tiptoed towards a room with enormous ornate chandelier 
enormous is huge huge can you see this see this chandelier over here yeah if you can see that chandelier ornate means it was highly decorated let's move further and let's look have a look at the picture can you just imagine this scene the four children are here and let's move further on page number 10 downside what's there in the story hey look adi pointed it seems that there is somebody in the room beyond the sofa shall we go in he looked at others with excitement now the ajay is one who is always adventurous and excited let's go neha and rohit replied together at the same time and what happened was they walked towards the room the door was ajar ajar means it was half opened they peeped they looked through the doorway the room was dark and airy here airy means it was strange and frightening and just after that they saw a huge table in the center of the room a short stout man was standing at the edge of the table now a stout man means he was rather fat and quite heavy in his build what was so special with that particular man was he was having long beard strange attire he was having completely strange attire pointed cap candles flickered in the room i showed you the flickering of the candles the only source of light numerous racks and books were overflowing and strange jars lined the wall the man had a beaker in his hand and was chanting something glancing at the large leather bound book as he did so i'll tell you what is glancing glancing means looking at it i'll also show you how does the beaker look like here you go with the next picture this is called a beaker which is used in some of the laboratories where the experiments are done i will give si give you time to look at this picture and have a view what was just said look at the man with strange attire and he's doing something he's chanting some of the spells okay so let's move further suddenly the man look up looked up and peered towards them now he was just trying to see who is entering inside the room who are you show yourself to me or i'll make you invisible he uttered angrily then what did the children say please don't do that we mean no harm the children opened the door they were trembling with fear what are you doing here demanded the man now the children replied we were coming back from school and saw the house we got bit interested and decided to explore that's all who are you asked rohit he could be counted on calm a ragging bull with his calm and collected demeanor and it stood him in a, and stood him in a good stead here now i already told you the meaning of demeanor and he should have actually started the conversation with the man that means rohit behaved a very calm manner and maybe that is what the wizard liked now the wizard tries to introduce himself my name is david sullivan and i am a wizard look at it how would he have uh, spoken this my name is david sullivan and i am a wizard then the alicia the girl alicia she was having a thoughtless question but my mother told me there are no wizards said alicia rather 
thoughtlessly. Did she know? roared the wizard. For indeed he was one. I am the greatest wizard of all time. I have magical powers. Magical powers? The children asked in surprise. Tell us what can you do? Now the children here got excited because the wizard told them that he has magical powers. I have the power to change any situation. The wizard spoke loudly. Now the children course, I mean everybody told, everybody spoke at the same time. The power to change any situation. The children with a hint of surprise in their voice. Now Ajay was the person who was little bit in doubt. What kind of power is that? Ajay asked dubiously.